Hi, I wanted to do this video because RNF created this new color, ancient gold. And I really loved it because it was so incredibly luminous. So my goal with using ancient gold was to create an effect like the Byzantine paintings where they did gold leaf on wood and paper. So what I'm doing is I'm using for my undercoat, Mars Red, because that's the color that we use in gilding as our base coat. It's the color of clay, earthy clay. So this is Mars Red. You could probably get away with Mars Orange too. So my first layer will be Mars Red, and I'm painting on a sheet of Encostaflex, which is a flexible paper-like microfiber. Very, 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 very absorbent. So the color will really sink in. And if you want to know more about Encostaflex, you can go to the website. So first thing I'm going to do is use the Mars Red and paint it completely over this sheet of Encostaflex. And I have it just laying here on my palette. And I'm painting it and making sure the surface is covered because that's going to be give the impression that this is covered with clay bowl, the undercoating for gold leaf. Now that the Encostaflex or paper is completely covered with the Mars Red, I'm going to take the block of ancient gold, just as it is, and I'm going to put it down in square shapes that will resemble the sheets of gold leaf. Gold leaf, when you buy it, comes in small squares. Uh, these squares that I'm going to be making um, will not be the size of the, of the actual gold leaves, but it will give the impression that it is put down in leaf form by keeping it square. So I just take this block and create squares making sure that they don't overlap. If they overlap, you'll just get a completely gold sheet of paper. So if you want to do that, feel free. And since we want this to look antique, the irregularity can also enhance the beauty of the piece. We don't need it to be surgically precise. But you'll notice that the first color you put down is very important because it absolutely shows. And you can go over other areas if they're not as luminous as you want. The end result, I think, is really beautiful. It catches the light beautifully. And I consider that to be a background. For me, since I am an embroiderer for my imagery, I embroidered this piece on the gold background, and I think it's an absolutely wonderful background. So you don't have to do actual gold leaf, and you can do this easily with encaustic right on the palette. And uh, again, my name is Leslie Giuliani, and I work for RNF Handmade Paints. And uh, if you have any questions, just email me at lesliegiuliani at mac.com. Hope you try it. Bye.